Right, the aim today is to show you how to replace the screen on this Lenovo S21e. And as uh, all these manufacturers seem pretty annoying at uh, having different model numbers, it is an S21e-20, otherwise known as an 80M4, uh, or possibly an 80M4001 WUK. So, I think this whole black fascia pings off. Let's see. Yep, there you go, fairly easy already. I'd be quite gentle with it because most of these things have really fairly flimsy plastic uh, lugs or clips are probably horrendously easy to break. Yep, there's that one. There's that one. Feels much sturdier down the side. Okay, with that one, I found it easier to slide the. Uh, spudger underneath where the screen is. It's not a good idea if you've got a working screen because it'll probably scratch it, but this screen is obviously broken, so it doesn't particularly matter. the majority of the uh, bezel unclipped. Ah, yep, there are some uh, clips there. So yeah, once you've undone those clips there, these silver bits are actually little fascias, so they can be snapped upwards and off. And it's then screwed on with two screws either side as well. There, there, there and there. Hopefully now, we can actually continue removing the screen, or sorry, the bezel. Yeah, there we go. Super simple. So now we're at the panel. 
There's four screws. And then be very careful lifting this out because the lead is there. It looks like a very, very flimsy lead. My adventure, as far as to say, I think this screen in this machine has been replaced before. Not by me. You can generally tell by the mottling of the uh, tape that's holding down this connector. That's undone the tape and then this whole connector just needs to go gently that way. There we go. So in this machine we have a B116XTN03 and then it's got a very small dot 3 at the end by AU Optronics which are general screen manufacturers. Uh, hardware B2, firmware 0, and then I guess the Lenovo part number. Oh, normally they have FRU, but I guess it's uh, so cheap and they don't really care. They haven't got one. But another part number 5D10H11015. And uh, next thing is to see whether you can get spares of these. Right, the replacement screen has arrived. So let's fit it. So, most importantly, is it a or is it the screen I was expecting? Is it compatible? I can get my bloody phone to focus. Get on with it. Honestly, try putting something else there. Might it be able to focus on? Right. So there's the new screen and the old one beneath it. Find a way to hold this. Yep, connects is definitely in the correct place, which is a fantastic start. So, because of the delay between taking out the old screen and receiving the new screen, I keep the screws in their rightful place so that I can move it off my desk and do other things. It's basically the reverse of uh, taking out the other one. Cheers. Connect to this multi pin connector. Make sure it's firmly connected. 
So on my one at least, there is pretty much no gap, no black line between the gold on the connector and the gold on the screen. Try and glue that tape down as sensibly as you can. It looks like there's some cable channels that this should run through. Now it's got two pins which it sits on at the top there. Then we should be good to screw it back together. Once again with the screws at the bottom, I screwed them back in for safekeeping. And before I put this on, I do need to remove, well actually before I put it all back together, I should probably check that the screen actually works. It hasn't been damaged in transit. And frustratingly, it's out of batteries. I don't have the power supply that goes with it, so I'm just going to have to hope that it is fine, there's no particular reason other than damage in transit that it shouldn't work. So fairly gently just along the edges Clip the screen bezel back on. So some of the most fiddly which looks like this is clip on the very bottom of their bezel as well and trying to get pressure on that point to clip it in is quite often very difficult.
point where I'm not actually sure how I'm going to manage that. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Clip that's uh, being difficult. Let's put these four screws back at the very bottom underneath the screen or underneath the bezel. place the uh, plastic covers so it looks like these little hook things are hooking hook downwards so this one with the hook there is on the left and this one hooks facing downwards So it's a shame that I can't turn it on and show you just to be sure. But essentially that is how you replace a screen on a Lenovo S21e.